Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's been a while since my last video. Sorry about that. Uh, I've been working on a lot of really cool stuff. Um, man, let's just do a nerd vlog. Go. Oh, that's right. Gotta spit up my gum. Hey, nerd vlog, volume two. I think it's volume two, whatever. I've been working on a lot of cool stuff. Uh, let's see, I gotta update you. First, Nerd HQ. Nerd HQ is an event that happens alongside San Diego Comic-Con, down in San Diego, during Comic-Con. It's put on by Zach Levi, Dave Coleman, and the Nerd Machine, and it's a whole lot of fun. I volunteer, and I've been volunteering now for four years. This will be my fourth year. It was, it, it's, it's like family. It's like fun. It's just, it's a good time. I 3D printed this logo for them. This is the Nerd Machine's Nerd HQ 2015 logo, and I said, hey guys, why don't I print you some logos? And then we can get some celebrities to sign them and maybe auction them off for charity. They thought it was a great idea. So now, now I'm just on the hook to print a bunch of these. They're kind of cool. You can see the, the layering there. Yeah. Anyway, Nerd HQ, printing a bunch of these logos. If, if you want one, let me know so I can let them know and maybe they'll have me print a whole bunch more. These are cool, cool, right? I just got in bamboo filament. That's right, bamboo, bamboo filament. Look at this here. It's, it, it has a rough texture to it. My wife said it, it felt like the kind of decorative wrapping twine, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, but if you feel it, it feels rough. It's, it's got a wooden texture to it. So I'm gonna print something with it tonight. I have no idea what I'm gonna print, but I gotta print something because this is awesome. Thank you, ColorFab, for the filament. You probably remember my Hawk Moon. The video has been getting a lot of attention, and I've had a lot of people ask me about being able to print this and other costume and prop guns for them, which I'm more than happy to do, but I need to figure out a better way to take custom orders. Right now, everybody just gets routed through my, my Etsy page, and if anybody has a better idea for how to route custom orders, leave it down in the comments. But here's my Hawk Moon. Here's the gun. Uh, as you can see, it's not complete. It's missing the, the cartridge there. It's missing the little talon at the end. It's missing the, the effects here. All of those can, can be printed, and this can be a, a fine prop. In fact, let me come back to this. Let me set this aside, and I'll come back to it. My printer's been on a bit of a Transformers kick. Yes, I'm a child of the 80s, and I love the Transformers. The cartoon was, the cartoon was great. In fact, I had one, one VHS tape that I would have my mom continually record Transformers on for me in the first half hour of the tape. And we did it so many times, we wore out the tape, and we couldn't use the first half hour anymore. It was VCRs, remember those? I'm old, get off my lawn. So along with my Transformers kick, I printed the Decepticon and the Autobot logo. Look at these things. Look at these things. It's as, it's, it's as big as my face. Big as my face. Big as my face. This is big as my face. This is purple. Hopefully it shows up purple. This is red. The black in the eyes and the black in the eyes, I colored in with a permanent marker. I don't consider that cheating. Not too shabby, right? Should I list these in my Etsy store? Should I should I sell these? Would people, would you be interested in an Autobot or a Decepticon? Kind of, I don't know. It's like a it's it's like an emblem. You can you can put a magnet on it and put it on your fridge, or glue it to your car, or glue it to your friend's car because you're a good friend. That's what good friends do. We glue things to each other's cars. Yeah, Transformer things. This is cool. Along with that Transformers kick with the, um, the logos there, I, I printed this. I hope you know what this is. This is the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. No, no, no. Not the one from that new movie where it just became a pile of dust and Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf carried around in a bag and then had some sort of Transformers induced fever dream and talked to elders and that was stupid. This is the matrix of leadership. This is the thing that Optimus Prime kept in his chest and then, spoiler alert, gave it to, gave it to, <laughs> gave it to Ultra Magnus. I can't believe I couldn't remember that at the tip of my tongue. Gave it to Ultra Magnus when he died, died. But, so this is, this is orange PLA filament. This is gray PLA filament. This is clear and then if I add a blue LED, Hope you can see that. 
I can get it to glow. My goal, my goal is to get a couple LEDs within a strip and then and then put a put a switch on the outside and then and then I can carry this around. Then I can carry this around and be cool. You got the touch! You got the power! I suck. I suck at singing. There's something for 3D printers called 3D Benchy. It's almost like a it's almost like a torture test. It puts your printer through the paces as to as to what it can do and what it can't do, and then it provides a basis for measurement. And here it is. This is printed at uh, 2x 2x scale. It's just a it's just it's it's a boat. It's a cool boat, but it has all sorts of cool little designs and tricks that that exercise your printer in different ways. Here it is printed at 1x. It's it's tiny. I mean, I can hold it there and be out of focus, or I can hold it next to my face. Face scale. Here it is two, here it is one. They don't really float unless we add something to the bottom. I guess they're kind of watertight, but if you get a chance, go to 3D Benchy or look for 3D Benchy, hashtag, hashtag 3D Benchy, and you can see all the different types of filaments people have used and all the different types of 3D printers people have used to print 3D Benchy. It's a really cool thing and I highly suggest if you have a 3D printer to print a 3D Benchy. I wonder if I can say 3D print 3D Benchy anymore. 3D Benchy, 3D Benchy, 3D Benchy, 3D Benchy, 3D Benchy, 3D Benchy. Oh, that's right, I suck at singing. Dang it. I'm a big fan of ColorFab filaments. ColorFab is there, well, as the box says, it's made in the Netherlands. And they use a PLA, PHA compound to make their filament, at least the PLA filament. And it's, it's incredibly strong. Um, this was a piece. This was a, a, the part of a, of a T-Rex shower head. And I had to stop at mid print, mid print because I don't know if you can tell, but there was a line and something got shifted and it's not good. But look at this. I'm not weak. It's that strong. How cool is that? If you ever need strength in a 3D printed piece, use, use, uh, use ColorFab. Good stuff. It's a little bit more expensive than the normal run of the mill stuff but you can't compromise on the strength of the of the of the material. It's fantastic. Color fab, good stuff. I don't think I've ever shown you, but check it out. This is a 3D printed T-Rex shower head. So it's the skull of a T-Rex with a shower head built right in. The threading is in the plastic and it's a half inch shower adapter. Or you can get a garden hose to half inch adapter and have yourself uh, fun <laughs> spraying your kids down with dinosaur spit. Um, this is neat. I sell this in my Etsy store. It's a free design on Thingiverse, but it's not limited on to, as to what you can do with the design. And I give proper credit in my Etsy store, but I sell this. Look at that. Look at that. Rawr. Rawr. I'll put the link to this in my Etsy store down below. Rawr. Rawr. Yeah. I don't know if I ever told you, but one of the very first things I ever printed with my 3D printer was this. Yep, this is a poop emoji cookie cutter. That's right. You can cut yourself a four inch poop cookie. <laughs> uh, I laugh way too hard at this. Uh, but as you can see, I, I've adapted it to other colors. Look at all that poop. It's a rainbow of poop. So if you ever need a poop cookie cutter, let me know. In fact, if you wanna learn how to make your own poop cookie cutter, if you have a 3D printer, let me know. Let me know in the comments, say, hey, I want my poop. I'll show you how to make your own poop. Not like, not like eat and poop, but poop. Hey, look who came into my room. This is my son, David. Say hi, David. Hello. What do you wanna say about 3D printing? 3D printers are awesome. I think so too. Thanks, David. Go downstairs. He printed a he printed a ramp for me for my for my finger skateboard. And that's my dad. Thanks, David. I think that's it for this vlog. Uh, we talked about transformers. We talked about 3D printing. We talked about color fab, bamboo filament. Um, we talked about poop. We talked about T-Rex shower heads. We uh, oh, that reminds me. 
we did talk about this Hawkmoon gun. This was my my test print. This was to make sure that I was able to print the Hawkmoon gun. So I have an idea. I want to I want to give this away. I want to ship this to you. This exact Hawkmoon 3D printed gun. So I'm gonna have a contest for this and I'll announce it in a YouTube video in the next couple days. So stay tuned, be sure you subscribe and high five.